Well, Prime Minister Lee Sin Lung and Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Balakrishnan have extended their condolences to Malaysia's government over this Genting Highlands landslide. In his letter to Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, Prime Minister Lee said he was saddened to learn of the tragic loss of lives and the many injuries. He also thanked Malaysia for assisting the three Singaporeans affected by the landslide and said the Singapore, Singapore Civil Defence Force stands ready to assist in search and rescue efforts if necessary. Dr Balakrishnan also extended his sympathies to his Malaysian counterpart, Malaysia's Foreign Affairs Minister Zambri Abdul Qadir, and to the victims and their families. He also thanked Malaysia for helping the survivors from Singapore. Our trips from Malaysia to Gunting Highlands and back are unaffected by the Batang Kali landslide near the Malaysian resort. Tour operators here say buses usually ply the Karak Highway via Gunting Sumpa to Gunting Highlands. That is away from the Jalan Batang Kali route that has been closed after the landslide. Traffic there has since been redirected to the Karak Highway and bus operators say they may cause some delays. But uh, after we explain to them that we are using the different way and actually they can accept and then they will continue the tour. I think they will have uh, some delay but maybe just the timing will be maybe 30 minutes time more. If our journey um, will not be affected our the whole journey. Tour operators added that the Batang Kali route is usually used by local travellers moving between Malaysian cities. More than 10 tour companies in Singapore have buses making daily round trips to Gunting Highlands. For private hires and taxis, business is as usual as well. One such firm says it has a fleet of 30 private hire cars travelling to Gunting on Friday. Two have arrived safely in the morning.